Hi, this is Professor Kamli here. And today we'll start with our uh, syllabus of the course Biochem 231, in which there is a part of biotechnology which we are going to study. So basically, in this particular syllabus, we are going to study about introduction to biotechnology, what is meant by biotechnology, in which mainly plant biotechnology as our syllabus concern. Then what are the different techniques in plant tissue culture? Then what are what is meant by genetic engineering? What are the different methods of gene transfer? Then we are having some part of technologies which are involved in crop improvement. So today we'll start with the, our first topic that is concept and applications of plant biotechnology, in which we will study about scope and importance of plant biotechnology with certain examples. Moving on to the next slide. The term biotechnology was first coined by Carl Ireki in 1990, which means products are produced from raw material with the aid of living organisms. Okay, so biotechnology is nothing but the use of microorganisms for improvement of the products which are used for living beings. And plant biotechnology is the branch of biotechnology. Okay, as we know, medical biotechnology is there, then animal biotechnology is there, and like this, a number of branches of biotechnology are there, in which one of the important branch that is plant biotechnology, which is there in our syllabus. And in plant biotechnology, again, there are two important sub branches. First one is the genetic engineering, and second one is plant tissue culture. And in plant tissue culture, number of methods are there. For example, anther culture is there, pollen culture is there, meristem culture is there, cell suspension culture is there, and all these methods we are going to study one by one. And in genetic engineering, again, there are methods for gene transformation in which from one organism to another organism, we are able to transfer the gene by using different gene transfer technologies, which are direct and indirect methods that we'll also study in our next lectures. So plant biotechnology can be defined as the introduction of desirable traits into plants through genetic modification. Okay, so here in plants or in animals for our purpose, okay, purpose may different, but basically what we are doing, we are transferring the gene from one living organism to other one. Okay, from bacterium to the plants or from animal to other animal, maybe for meat production, it may be for meat production. Okay, so many economical benefits we are getting from this particular and in plants also we are transferring different genes for resistance in paste diseases or to adapt and uh, conditions which are not good for the growth of the crop for example biotic resistances and abiotic resistances in abiotic uh, salt taller salt is there then so many other are there okay so basically what is the use of this plant biotechnology techniques that is 
to adapt or to form and plantlets or animals which are having economical benefits to the human being and we are achieving it by using different technologies and methods okay now we are very much known of an example that is bt cotton okay that is bt that is long form of the bt is bacillus thuringiensis which is soil bacterium and from that soil bacterium we have isolated genes and transferred to the cotton through which we got an resistance against a number of or group of the pest which affects the cotton plant okay so here in this diagram we are able to understand how this basically gene transformation is takes place so this is agrobacterium fumification that is bacterium which is uh, mainly used in indirect methods of gene transformation now what is this indirect methods of gene transformation in which we are transferring gene of interest or foreign dna into the plasmid okay plasmid is nothing but the chromosome or dna which is having self replication ability okay so we are isolating this plasmid from the bacterium that is agrobacterium tumefaciens and at the same time we are taking this foreign dna from any organism okay or any means uh, which is the gene we are interested that we are taking by using the restriction enzymes okay restriction enzymes are able to cut dna from site which we are interested so we are taking this plasmid in which restriction cleavage is the site is there at that site we are able to transfer this gene of interest okay so this is the first step the plasmid is removed from the bacterium and the transfer dna is cut by restriction enzyme okay so we are making here place to transfer this foreign dna or foreign gene second stage that is foreign dna is cut by the same enzyme okay so many restriction enzymes are there we are using for this cutting and then we are transferring this foreign dna into this plasmid and this plasmid is again called as recombinant ti plasmid okay ti that is tumor inducing plasmid okay so third stage that is the foreign dna is inserted into the t dna or transfer dna of the plasmid and we got this recombinant ti plasmid then fourth stage that is the plasmid reinserted into the bacterium okay so we have we got this plasmid then we transfer this foreign dna and again we inserted into the same bacterium that is agrobacterium tumefaciens and in the fifth stage the bacterium is used to insert the t dna carrying the foreign gene into the chromosome of plant cell okay so from here it's a tissue culture part okay in which this agrobacterium tumefaciens is used to grow with the plant cells okay in which we are looking to transfer this gene or dna okay and later on we will grow this plantlets in the lab conditions which can also called as in vitro conditions and will get the transformed plants from this cell which we have grown simultaneously or we have grown it with the this agrobacterium and later on a plant is generated from a cell clone all of its cell carry the foreign gene and may express it as a new trait okay so basically this is the indirect method of gene transfer in which we are using agrobacterium tumefaciens bacterium to co culture with the plant cells in which we are looking to transfer this our gene of interest okay so this is basically the gene transfer which is happening through indirect methods okay and in case of bt cotton we have taken the genes from bacillus thuringiensis bacterium and we have inserted into the cotton so here this co cultured cells will be the or was the cotton 
okay cotton sales through which we got the transformation and nowadays we are using this bt cotton that can be that is bacillus thuringiensis okay from which we have isolated the genes and transferred into the cotton for the resistance of group of pests which are attacking the cotton plant you got it so here this is what transformation of gene is happening through the indirect method of gene transfer and one of the important example that is bt cotton next plant biotechnology is a set of technique used to adapt plant for specific needs or opportunities okay plant biotechnology is a set of techniques used to adapt plants for specific need and opportunities okay so here whatever our requirements are there on the basis of that we are using the tools of biotechnology for the improvement of any crops or if animals are there then animals or plants next point biotechnology is currently being used in many areas including agriculture bioremediation food processing and energy processing okay in in the energy production mainly we are going through the waste management okay at the same time we are able to produce the energy by using different bacteriums which are genetically engineered for the purpose of this waste management okay next dna fingerprinting is becoming a common practice in forensics okay this is also one of the important uh, aspect of the biotechnology in which we are using this dna fingerprinting for different forensic purposes next point production of insulin and other medicine is accomplished through cloning of vector that now carry the chosen gene okay so this is also part of our syllabus that is types of vectors which we will uh, study in our next lecture so here as we know insulin which is mainly used in the control of sugar for diabetic persons and if we are looking for the naturally production of this insulin then we'll get very low quantity and when we are having this tools of genetic engineering or biotechnology we are able to transfer a particular gene which is responsible for the production of insulin and from which we will get an abundant quantity of this insulin and we are able to use that for the treatment of this diabetic persons or wherever it is necessary next immuno assays are used not only in medicine for drug level and pregnancy testing but also by farmers to aid in detection of unsafe level of pesticides herbicide and toxins on crops and in animal products okay so this is also one of the important point that is different immuno assays okay which are used for the testing of different uh, organisms microorganisms which are harmful to the plants or their unsafe level in crops okay their toxicity of the herbicide are also used uh, to detect the this type of the toxicities is also one of the important point next point these assays also provide rapid field test for industrial chemicals in ground water sediment and soil okay so some type of the bio assays or immuno assays which are used for the detection of a certain hazardous chemical which are present in the ground water and also soil next in agriculture genetic engineering is being used to produce plants that are resistant to insects weeds and plant diseases okay so as we discussed the bt cotton same here number of other traits are also introduced in different crops or plants by using the biotechnology tools next slide that is a and point one that is crop improvement okay so here we will discuss about what are the different uh, roles of plant biotechnology in which crop improvement so in crop improvement first of all herbicide tolerance okay in case of soya bean this type of the tolerance was increased or uh, reduced by using the gene transfer technology secondly pest resistance then drought tolerance okay these are the some biotic and abiotic stresses because of that we are able we are unable to grow for example rice is there which is salt tolerance okay and when salt 
is comparatively high in soil then this particular plant is unable to grow in such soils okay so we are not able to use the soils salty soils and problematic soils but when we are having improved varieties of the crops then we are able to use such soil also for the cultivation because of this tools of genetic engineering and biotechnology then acidity and salinity tolerance then nitrogen fixing ability is also increasing because of these tools then nutritional value of the crops for nutritional value of crops also we are able to transfer particular genes which are able to produce and particular useful component from that food okay improving food quality and safety second healthier cooking oils by decreasing the concentration of saturated fatty acids in vegetable oil okay as we know these saturated fatty acids are not good for the health so we are able to decrease them by using the biotechnological tools then functional food food containing significant level of biologically active components that impart health benefits okay then this is the in this particular point important example is there that is uh, vitamin a rich rice okay so this this is also called as golden rice okay in which vitamin a is there in very high quantity which is useful then various technologies applied in plant biotechnology includes genetic engineering that is recombinant dna technology second tissue culture third molecular breeding okay so molecular breeding or marker assisted selection means what basically when we are transferring any gene or whenever we are doing the crossing for an purpose at that time what is happening we are crossing two parents of that particular variety okay so here it is given traditional plant breeding involves cross breeding of similar plants to produce new varieties with different traits but it takes many generation to achieve desired result by using various biotechnological tool crop improvement can be achieved faster and it even facilitates to transfer gene from unrelated species okay when we are using this by the traditional ways at that time as we know we have to wait till the growth of the crop till the production of that particular crop then we'll get the results but when we are having this molecular breeding or marker assisted selection at that time we are able to use all these characteristics for example higher yield varieties are there then we are able to use whether this variety got the characteristic from their parent or not at very early levels or at the plantlet levels okay don't wait to complete their complete life cycle and then we'll get results which is happening in traditional methods but using by using biotechnological tools we are able to check whether these characteristics are got formed or not that is your molecular breeding or marker assisted selection moving on to the next slide that is genetic engineering and tissue culture okay genetic engineering as we discussed in our first slide itself manipulation of genes is called genetic engineering or recombinant dna technology it removes gene from one organism and either transfer them to another puts them or puts them back in the original with a different combination various gene transfer techniques used in genetic engineering which includes first of all agrobacteria mediated gene transfer in which desired trait is isolated from dna of original organism inserted into agrobacterium <coughs> and target plant is infected <coughs> cells that accept the dna are grown into plants with the new trait and this agrobacterium mediated is the indirect method of gene transfer while second one that is gene gun which is direct method of gene transfer in which dna that codes for desired trait is coated into tiny particles of tungsten and fired into a group of plant cells then the cells which accept this dna grown into the plant with desired trait okay so these both the methods we will see 
in the deep in our next lectures but now just remember agrobacterium mediated is the indirect method of gene transfer while uh, gene uh, gene is the direct method of gene transfer other than this so many number of methods of indirect and uh, sorry direct are there that we'll see later then tissue culture okay in tissue culture we are able to isolate the plant cells and we are able to grow them on artificially artificially nutrient medium in in vitro conditions in which we are able to grow anthers pollens pollen grains or other tissues in other tissues we are able to grow the nodes internodes of the plantlets even we are able to uh, take the samples from the leaf and that also we are able to grow in in vitro conditions genetically engineered uh, sorry so whatever genetic engineered uh, plantlets or cells are there that we need, we need to grow them in through tissue culture in in vitro conditions then only we will get the full plantlets from the successful transfer of genes next point that is marker assisted selection in which marker added genetic analysis studies dna sequences to identify the genes that is qtl qualitative trait loci and other molecular markers and to associate them with organisms functions that is gene identification marker added selection is the identification and inheritance tracing of previously identified dna fragments through a series of generations so here need to explain in detail okay as we know we are all organisms including human being are having particular set of genome particular number of genes okay and these genes are responsible for the all genotypical and phenotypical characteristics of that human uh, that organism okay and in biotechnology in genetic engineering we are having the methods through which we are able to id identify the genes which are responsible for particular characteristics okay and because of this knowledge we are able to check the newly formed variety or sorry newly formed plantlets from crossing of parents we are able to check whether the characteristics is transferred into the newly formed plantlet or not at plantlet level because in the plantlet level we are able to isolate the dna of that particular plantlet from leaf samples and we are able to check whether the dna or particular sequence is transferred from that parent to their plant their next generation or not and this is the marker assisted selection okay in which quantitative trait loci are there which are studied previously means what for example we are having higher yielding variety and in which the variety is susceptible to an particular disease so we are looking for the transfer of resistant genes into that higher yielding variety so in this case we will transfer the genes from that resistant variety to the higher yielding variety and in the next generation we will check the dna of that newly formed plantlets for presence or absence of that particular gene which is resistant to the diseases okay through this we are able to minimize the program for improvement in crops or forming new varieties okay and this is our marker assisted selection or marker aided selection applications of biotechnology in agriculture mainly in which crop improvement for resistance to the diseases and pests second tolerance to environmental conditions okay then third improved color and 
quality okay so here for the quality improvement also we are able to use this genetic engineering tools then pharmaceuticals plants that produce useful vaccines okay not uh, compulsory to say vaccines but uh, useful chemicals okay which are used in the pharmaceutical for the production of different types of the drugs then food improved taste and nutrition improved handling qualities okay improved handling qualities means what some fruit crops are there in which we are we do, they, that particular crop don't have storage capacity for longer time okay for example tomatoes are there mangoes are there which highly perishable in nature okay when we are able to extend their life span after harvesting or we are able to keep their good qualities or as it is for the long time then that is also very much important with respect to the economical benefits to the farmers okay so this is also one of the important point then industrial plants that produce plastics fuels and other products plants that produce some qualities of the material which may be used for the in plastics fuels and other products then plants for environmental cleanup okay so some microorganisms or bacteria are there which are having capacity to absorb the gas uh, hazardous gases from environment that is also the part of mainly plant biotechnology next uh, others that is pesticide made from naturally occurring microorganisms and insects then as in the plants in animals also there are some uses of the plant biotechnology in which first of all food increase the milk production okay we are able to increase the production of milk by inserting certain type of the genes which are responsible for the higher milk secondly leaner meat in pork okay third growth hormones in farm raised the fish that result in earlier market ready fish okay so such growth hormones are there which are responsible for the faster growth of the fishes which also be transferred and used in the fish production then pharmaceuticals animals engineered to produce human proteins for drugs including insulin and vaccine third breeding this is tolerance exact copies of desired stock of animals and increased yield in case of meat or it may be in uh, milk then health microorganisms introduced uh, introduced uh, into feed for beneficial purpose okay certain uh, microorganisms are there which are very much useful in the digestion of that particular food for animals then diagnostic of diseases and pregnancy detection animals engineered to produce organs suitable for transplantation into humans okay so this is all about the scope and importance of the plant biotechnology basically and uh, overlook of our syllabus in the next lecture we will discuss about the different methods of gene transfer in which indirect methods are there and direct methods of gene transfer are also there so today we'll stop here and one important thing is that just uh, revise the lectures which are previously taught about structure of dna rna genes chromosomes okay so which is useful in the our next lecture that is polymerase chain reaction and also make the notes from this lecture series by yourself thank you